Hello, 3D printing friends. Hey, remember a couple of weeks ago when I installed that Wham Bam Systems flexible build system on my Monoprice Maker Select Plus? Well, I wanted to share my thoughts and experience with it so far. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it just meh? Stick around and find out. I'm Brian, and you are watching BB3D. So yeah, a few weeks ago I released a video in which I installed this Wham Bam Systems flexible build plate on a Monoprice Maker Select Plus. Now, I've been using it a lot since I installed it, so I wanted to provide a quick update on my experience with the product. Now so far I've only printed PLA and PETG on it, but with both filament types I've had great success. As you know, getting a good first layer is critical to a successful print. So I did have to spend a little time dialing in the Z offset to get just the right amount of squish on the filament to get it to stick well on the PEX. This printer I've got this installed on has mesh bed leveling thanks to a BL Touch and the ADV i3++ firmware. So adjusting that offset was easily done through the touch screen on the printer. I had to bring the nozzle about a tenth of a millimeter closer to the bed to get the right squish factor. With regard to print settings, I'm using the same settings to print on this PEX surface as I do when I print on BuildTac. I print at 50 millimeters a second for both PLA and PETG, and I run my first layer at 30% of that speed, or 15 millimeters a second. So, yeah, my first layer prints slow, but it goes down smooth and it sticks well on the PEX. You know, I think I'm just going to start to say PEX instead of saying each letter in PEX. Alright, so after three weeks of daily use, the PEX still keeps a good grip on the print, but it releases easily when the print is done. Here, I'll show you. Take the build plate off the printer. You don't need to force a scraper under anything risking a cut. Just flex your pecs and the parts come right off. Get it? Flex your pecs? Hashtag dad jokes. <laughs> anyway, just put the plate back on the printer and after a quick wipe down with isopropyl alcohol, you are ready to print again. Now I've noticed that sometimes very tiny bubbles can form between the spring steel sheet and the pecs surface. I usually see this around the outline of a print and they're very, very small, but I've also seen this happening with the PEI sticker on the spring steel sheet on my Prusa i3 Mark III. So I'm going to guess that it might be a common thing. I don't know. But anyway, these micro bubbles haven't affected the quality of the prints on either printer, so I'm not worried about it, but I did want to mention it. Oh, and hey, here's another thing. Uh, the spring steel sheet's blank on the other side, so if you've got a different print surface that you want to use, you can install it there on the flip side on the B side, on the non-primary face. You get the idea. I had a spare sheet of build tack, so I installed it there just to play around with it. As long as you don't exceed the recommended temperatures for the alternate print surface, you should be fine. So, three weeks in and I'm impressed by the product. I'm every bit as happy with it as I am with the spring steel sheet on my Mark III. And for the filament types I print, PLA and PETG, they seem to work equally well. I did want to mention again that while Wham Bam calls this a beta test, I see it as more of a paid early access thing, by which I mean that I was offered the opportunity to buy the product early in exchange for testing it and providing feedback. Now, according to a note that Wham Bam sent out to the testers, they're planning their next production run and getting ready to launch on Kickstarter. So if you're interested in the product, you can check out their website at whambamsystems.com. They've got more info about the flexible build system and the upcoming Kickstarter. And here, I'll put a link down in the description to save you some typing. So that's pretty much it for the update. The prints still stick when they're supposed to, and they're super easy to pop off when they're done. Well, now we're at the end of the video, so it's time for me to say things like like, subscribe, and share, because those three things really do help the channel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content I'm producing, you can help support the channel with a one-time micropayment. You could buy me a coffee or maybe drop a little something in the PayPal tip jar. Links for both are down in the description. Oh, if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by clicking the BB3D icon right over here. And ring that bell to be notified when I release new videos. Oh, speaking of videos, here's one that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. All right, I'm going to go print something cool and I want you to do the same. I'll see you next time.